Hey, so we made it to Brenham. We're walking towards Blue Bell Ice Cream. We're gonna try to run a half marathon today. Try. Wish us luck. Hey, so it looks like we're going to be the last people to start the half marathon. We're starting a new tradition carried over from the Georgetown half in December, yeah. December, before we were late to the start line. The race started five minutes ago. We're doing great. Who knows where it is? We're hoping we're going in the right direction. No, no clue. I'm really not sure if we are or not. Yeah. I don't see a start line. Check it out. Wait. So we go that way? Yes. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we found the starting line. And we are officially the last people. Oh well, here we go. Morning, thank you. Hi guys. Yeah, look, look who we found. A bunch of happy cows. They make happy ice cream. Hi guys. All right, we're almost four and a half miles in. Uh, it is really hilly, but it's nice. The weather's really nice. There's like no wind. And, uh, you know, considering we haven't run in two weeks, we're doing okay. Not bad. We're doing okay. Not bad. All right. Those, uh, those cows really enjoyed the selfie. It kind of gave us a boost, so we're off again. Hey, hey, we just hit seven miles. Seven miles. And we weren't even like watching the clock. Yeah. They don't have mile markers on this race, so it's kind of like we just run until they tell us to turn. Oh. And we just hit seven miles and yeah. we didn't realize it. Yeah. The so, hills are pretty bad. Yeah, boy, really it is steep. It is really hilly. So we're doing our best. Yeah. Uh, you know, almost, almost there, wherever there over is. Over halfway. Yeah, over halfway. All right. Ooh, come on, ice cream.
Hi guys. More later. Hey, this one's for you, Aaron. <laughs> It's been a whirlwind day. It has been. Uh, it is currently two o'clock our time, two which means we have been awake for ten and a half hours. What you may say? Oh yeah, ten and a half. And hours. we traveled two hours away, and we ran a half marathon there. And then we traveled two hours back. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning. And you know what? I, 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 we would very, very much like to thank everybody for thinking of us, sending us messages. Yeah, we got some uh, really sweet words. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It, it, it means a lot. And you know, we had not run mm. for two weeks. And and the, we were kind of dialing it back before those two <clears> weeks when <throat> his knees started giving him problems. So this was a more or less cold-ish yeah. half marathon. That we yeah. Did yeah. So thank you for thinking of us. Um, it, it really means a lot. And... Uh, uh we uh we cannot stand up right now <laughs> so so we're gonna recap we're, we're gonna Getting recap us out of the right car yeah. was something yeah it, one it, of us had to go was, first and it was not pretty yeah. i was trying to figure out if, <laughs> I, I, I was trying to figure out if it'd be oh possible gosh. to like eat lunch in the car in the garage because obviously and... we ordered pizza on the way home and david's like do you think they can deliver it to me right here yeah so uh -huh. about 20 miles away from that. home we door dashed some pizza, of course. It's uh, delicious. And, yeah, and it arrived perfect timing. Anyway, so yay, we we did it. We, we finished. Did, we we finished. Our day. And, 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 and in our normalish time, mm -hmm. slightly longer, like maybe five minutes more than maybe, usual, but maybe not bad. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> mm. Well, so let's recap for you what let's happened. Let's back up a little yeah. bit. Okay. All right. So, here's what okay. happened. Okay, so it all started yesterday. Actually, it started... A week ago. Okay, why a week ago? Uh, you started making that list a week ago. No, I made that yesterday. Really? Or the day before. Oh. Yeah. I'm a list maker, if uh, you've been paying attention. I love we... it. Yeah. David, I, is, David is I'm not. not. I'm not. So, I make sure we have everything in order yeah. uh, for all sorts of things because I make lists. So it awesome. occurred to me, um, it may have been yesterday morning, either yesterday morning, which would have been Friday, or maybe on Thursday morning, like when I woke up, I was lying in bed, and because obviously I wake up before my alarm every <laughs> day of my life, uh, so I'm lying in bed uh, thinking about like all the things that we need to make sure we do, yeah. because we normally either will run a low, like very local run, mm -hmm. or we travel for a run, so we're like, no matter what, we're normally already at our kind of run destination yeah this one was a little bit different mm -hmm. because when we decided to sign up for this race our dog millie was having some issues yeah. we didn't know if we'd be able to travel or not mm -hmm. so we 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 skipped our january and february runs that we had in mind and we're like okay surely she'll be okay enough for us to leave her for several hours on in march and we're just gonna we'll plan to just go run the race it's a little bit further than we would prefer yeah. Yeah. to drive but yeah. we're gonna do that yeah. So, in my head, Brenham, Texas was like an hour and 15, maybe hour and 20 minutes away. I looked it up earlier this week and it was like an hour and 40 minutes. And I'm like, that's kind of rounding up to two hours. Yeah. 
especially when we've been hydrating, like we're gonna have to stop by the bathroom, more on that in a minute. And so I was like, okay. Oh, and okay. also because the parking area was about... We only realized that like two days ago. Yeah, two days ago we were told that the parking area... Is not the start. It's pretty that. far and they would be providing shuttles to make sure that they can get people to the starting line and uh, to make sure you get there uh, especially early because of parking yeah. and having to get shuttled to the uh, 7.30 7 30 a.m. start. Prompt 7.30 a.m. So start. all that turned into us leaving, hitting the road at 5 a.m. this morning. Which means we woke up at 3.30 this we morning. We woke up at 3.30 because <clears throat> Millie needs her walk. That's right. You good girl. Right. We have to take care of Coach Millie, and she's doing so good. She's 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 going on a normal. She had a short walk this morning. Yeah. We didn't quite make it out in time to give her a normal walk, but she still got a walk at four thirty in the morning. Yeah. Um. And so all of this is going through my mind. I'm like, we're gonna have to do so much mm -hmm. to leave on time. We need a couple of lists. So I wrote out everything that we need to take care of on Friday. Right. And everything that we need to take care of on Saturday. So the Friday list with things like. Don't forget to carb up and hydrate. Right. Uh, we're gonna need to prep all of our food. So we've right. talked about this before. We make the little oatmeal, mm -hmm. peanut butter, honey, raisin, raisin balls. balls. We need to make those. Mm -hmm. We need to prep our breakfast for the next morning, get the thermos ready to go because we're gonna take coffee on the road. We need, I mean, the list was extensive. Yeah, yeah. Get all of our water bottles prepped, get everything yeah. out, yeah. lay out our clothes, right. do everything. Right. KT tape, all cut, that. Cut tape. all the KT tape. Yeah. And then of course, like on our Saturday, on this morning list, the, the things were like, don't forget to put the KT tape on. Right. Um, you know, pack up all of the food that we grabbed. Yeah. So anyway, we had like two lists and it made today actually like pretty yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. We made it out pretty much on the time. It was on, about 5.15. On time that we wanted to, oh, it was before that. It was only like 5.05. We were yeah. so close yeah, to getting yeah. on time. And it was perfect because an hour and 45 minutes, leaving at about right. 5, 10. The or... estimated time was 10 to 7 that we would arrive. Perfect. 10 to 7, I'm like, this is great. We'll get there, we'll eat our breakfast, we'll have 40 minutes to let it digest, we'll like find our way to the start line, it'll be perfect. Uh, go to the beautiful porta potty. I had my fingers crossed since it was out of high school that maybe we'd get some brick and mortar bathrooms. We did Porter. not, we did not. It was, I, I'm still, I need to put bleach in Scarred my for life, yeah. man. Anyway, so, for life. so we headed out. So we left. It's and it, dark. it was so dark. And neither of us were old enough that we don't see well at night. <laughs> So it was a little bit of a stressful drive because it was like dark and there's not even a moon right now, right? We're, we're just at a slip of a moon, and, so no light at all. And where we're going, the, in the middle of nowhere. they're very, 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 very small middle towns, nowhere. right? Populations oh. of 200. Uh, and then of course, uh, Brenham, where mm -hmm. this dairy exists, uh, is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So the lighting was a Hit little miss. too... Sometimes the, the towns were bright and, and sometimes they weren't. Yeah. Anyway. So we knew mm -hmm. we knew that we would. So part of the reason we left at five was because we knew we needed a little bit of padding, because we knew we were gonna have to go to the bathroom. I mean, two hours in the car, we're not gonna make it all the way. Yeah, right and you've been hydrating, right? Like so. exactly. Um, so one thing we learned this morning in dire straits was that many of the gas stations in the middle of Texas don't open until six a.m. So when you're about to pop, it's say 5.45 a.m. You have to make the choice of, do we sit here and wait or do we try to drive and find another one? I mean, even 7-Eleven, they're supposed to be open 24 hours. 7-Eleven, they're 24 hours. They no. were not open, the door was locked. No. So we stopped mm -hmm. once and it was a really nice looking place. It's a real shame we didn't get to use that bathroom. Open at six, we're like, <sighs> David's like, I gotta go. Go, 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 go. No, you were like, I gotta, we, we're gonna have to wait here until they open. I'm like, okay, Elgin's right there. Let's go to the next yeah. town. So we went to the next town, 7-Eleven, closed. They didn't even have hours posted though, so no. maybe I don't know, whatever. We finally Trust find me, one. I tried the door. All right. <laughs> we find another one. I needed to go. <laughs> and the bathrooms were nice. They were very nice. Oh, so yeah. we, we got to go to the bathroom. Yeah. That place was hopping, because apparently it's the only gas station open mm -hmm. in like, you know, a, at least a 15 mile radius. They found their niche. <laughs> so um <laughs> got to use the bathroom, that's great. Drive, had to make one more bathroom stop, like right around the corner from from the race. Which Hello, is, hydration. Yeah. So all of that said, we roll into the parking lot at like 7.15. Yeah. <laughs> race starts at 7.30 promptly, right? We still need to pick up our packets. 
okay. So, um, <laughs> we park in this parking lot and they did have shuttles, but it was also like the high school was right there. So, but the race started at Brenham High School. Yeah. Not at Bluebell Ice, Bluebell Creamery like we thought it did. So. Right. Actually, none of this took place at Bluebell. None of it. We thought we were going to get to, uh, okay, we'll get to that. It's okay. We'll wrap it's it up. Okay. It's yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So we park wow. and it's like grassy and like, you know. We, it was a field. It was, we were in a field, um, a very think, bumpy field. Think a field that has been walked upon by hundreds and hundreds of cows. So we're like, oh my gosh, oh, there's a oh, hole. Billy. Oh my gosh, you know, so. Yeah, it was. Uh, we had to be rough. cautious as we, and, and there are still cars kind of like, you know, parking. So, yeah. you know, we had to be cautious and, and uh, so we walked over. Uh, and we uh, went okay. to go pick up our packets. So, okay, so here's the deal. So we found out through an email, I think yesterday or the mm -hmm. day before, that they were going to have a bag check. I'm like, that's great. Because if the cars are going to be parked so far away that we need a shuttle, we're not going to want to, like, go back and right. put our stuff in the car, like, walk back, you know. So that's right. great. We'll just check back. Well, we forgot to bring a bag. <laughs> it wasn't on the check. It wasn't on the list. It didn't make it on the list. It's okay. So, uh, literally nothing got done that wasn't on the list, and right. that one wasn't on the list. Right. So, we're like, okay, well, we can maybe try to walk back, but by the time we got to pack and pick up, it had been a pretty long walk. Right. Like, we, we did end up walking, and it took a while. So, we're like, okay, well, that's okay. We're going to have, what, like, two t-shirts? That's okay. We'll just, like, we'll roll them up real tight, maybe stuff it in your fanny pack, and we'll, yeah. like, we'll, yeah. we'll be fine. Yeah. Um, so, we go to pack and pick up. Or to bib pick up whatever, and it's like, okay, here's your bib, okay, and um, here's your medal. Which one? Here's your medal. And we're like, oh, okay, oh, can you get it? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, uh, we're getting our medals now. Okay. Cool. Um, okay, we'll All find right. a place to put this. Uh, yeah, That's okay. We can still I can make put, this work. I can put it in my pocket. We can pocket. still make this work. Yeah, yeah. Thank and you. And they're like, okay, t-shirts. Cool, t-shirts are picked up down there. We're like, cool. Cool. So we go to pick up the t-shirts, and they hand us t-shirts each and another medal so we got both uh our half marathon finisher medal up front and a fun run medal that like there was also um a 5k and a 10k mm -hmm. and actually like a kids k or yeah. mile or something yeah. they had like lots of races and they they actually did something neat which again we'll come back to this later but they kind of staggered the starts so we started at 7 30 mm -hmm. and then the 10k started at 8 30 and the 9k 10K. 10K. 5K. 5K. Too many numbers. Nine. 5K started at 9.30. So, you know, the, people were cruising through all day. Yeah. So, by this point, we were like, well, this isn't going to fit in the fanny pack. <laughs> we now have four medals and four t-shirts that yeah. we're going to be carrying for oh. this whole and, <laughs> marathon. And speaking of the t-shirts, uh, here's, here's one of them. Again, we can't stand up right now, so <clears throat> there's that. Come on, Millie. Millie's in. Oh, nice shape. Yeah, Coach oh. Millie's in here. She's here, here you hold that. Okay, yeah. and this was the other shirt. So that's the half marathon shirt. And then we also got a just a fun run shirt. Mm -hmm. Chill out, Millie. Okay. Um, so what we did, chill out. Chill out. <laughs> um, you ended up like looping them in your fanny pack yeah. belt. Chill out. Hey, uh, hold on real quick. Uh, uh, I, we think, uh, we think uh, Coach, Coach needs some what attention. What do you need, buddy? We'll be right back. Action. <laughs> So, okay, so David took his t-shirts and kind of looped them in his, like, running belt, mm -hmm. and I, I've never been faced with running with two extra t-shirts, but now I know what to do with extra clothes if I need to, which may come in handy. So, you know, I wear my running pants with a little tennis skirt on top, so the tennis skirt has these little, like, booty shorts on them. So I kind of rolled it up and, like, stuffed it, like, one on each side, so I had little, like, tails. We saw some people um, wearing both shirts. Wearing both shirts, presumably on top of a third shirt uh -huh. that they showed up in, yeah, okay. and running with like medals jangling around. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so, well, because by the time we picked up all we this, we could stuff, not make it back to the car and yeah, back up. It was seven thirty, and they were telling half marathoners, "You, you need to get to the start. Go. The okay. race is starting." So we oh, before we get too far away, let me see the bib. Oh, yeah. So the bib was super cute. Yeah. Um, uh, this is the half marathon bib, and it is, uh, if you're not from Texas, you won't recognize this, but this is like a, the carton design of one of, we had to look it up because it's not a flavor we apparently uh, eat, but it it's a looked really familiar. Yeah, it's a um, it's a, like cookie dough. Yeah, crazy um, cookie crazy dough. Crazy cookie dough. So that was really cute. 
Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we have our bibs. We figured, actually, no, we hadn't done anything with our t-shirt yet, but we had our bibs. And then it's like, okay, well, we're late anyway. Yeah. Do we need to stop at the porta potties again? Again, yes. mind you, we stopped four minutes before we got there, right at a gas station, like just down the street. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, yeah. we probably should go again. So we uh, queued up for the porta potties. Yeah. And again, I need bleach for my eyes. The horror. Anyway, so the then horror. we walk uphill. We're, you know, they <laughs> said so go uphill, way. go uphill. Go the race uphill. already started. And we didn't see any like signs or anything, but I'm like, this, it was clearly yeah, like the finishing shoot. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, well, this is clearly where the race ends, but I guess we walk up here. And we were walking for a while. Like that and long. then we get up to where we can finally see people, and we see runners going by this way, and we're like, oh, shoot. Were we supposed to go up a different hill? You know, we, <laughs> right. we've never been here. Yeah. We're just like, oh. No. And we're running late. Yeah. And so we get like all the way to the top. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like people are just, I'm like, oh, my God. And by this point, all the like spectators... I have le they're leaving. They're coming, coming towards, towards us. Yeah. So, like, everybody who was like, yay, everybody, oh, good job. They're all like, <laughs> yeah, okay, well, right, we'll right, see you right. on the next one. Who are you? So, we get to the very top, and I finally, <laughs> I finally asked somebody, I'm like, where's the start? He's like, oh, it's right there. I'm like, oh, there it is. Found it. So, at the very top of the hill, you just go this way a little bit. So, all those people that we saw running by had, like, just started. They were just as late as us. So, we get up there, we finally start the race. It was like five, six, seven minutes yeah. after. To zero fanfare. That's okay. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> no Absolutely. Other than that one guy going, yeah, you're in the right spot. Run over that mat. Make sure okay. you go over that mat, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Zero <laughs> fanfare. Two half marathons right in a row now. And we've shown up I know, right? late. <laughs> and ended up uh, having to like start all by ourselves, which is not bad. No. I, it's okay, no, it's actually. Neat. I didn't, we didn't have to fight any, any you know. It's no, like have, yeah, no crowds. And then, and then it's like, oh my gosh, we actually like passed some people. That's cool. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we're slow yeah. folks. <clears throat> but, um, okay. So that was all pre show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we'd only been awake for like four hours at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Ah, we're four, tired. Four hours. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So oh, then the course itself, beautiful, oh beautiful. Gosh. And all the volunteers and everybody, man, they had first aid stations. They had so many water stops. They had tons of waters. They were all, um, so this race benefits, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, I'll put a little something here. Yeah. The, like, Brenham High School, where the, where the race started, it benefits their athletic program. Yeah. So all of the water stops were, were uh, uh, um, football players. Uh, they were all students yeah, who were like handing out yeah, water. Yeah, students. And, you know, some of them had yeah. their gear on. Uh, they had the cheerleaders with their gear on, and, and they made it so just you know uh, exciting. They were very supportive. It was, very it was nice. great. It was great, and, yeah. and the scenery was absolutely beautiful. It was right? wonderful. The blue bonnets covered the fields. It looked like purple blankets all over the fields. It, it was. It if was you're not awesome. familiar, they are the Texas State Flower, right. and this time of year. They can completely cover countryside. Yeah, and it is it's astonishingly yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, and it's dairy country. So yeah. we saw Rolling a bunch hills, of hills, bunch of cows. cows. They were so cute. They were talking. You they know, were moving. babies. You know, oh man, it, oh. it was it was it was great. It was wonderful. It was great, and the weather was perfect. It was perfect. It got a little got hot a little warm the towards end, the end, <laughs> but still, it, but, it, it yeah. was so nice. It was just really really nice. The terrain <laughs> is a different story. <laughs> it was a much hillier the race than we had mm -hmm. anticipated. It was pretty rough. So, um, again, if you're not familiar with Texas, like here's Texas. The hill country is like pretty much the middle of Texas. Mm -hmm. That's what's called the hill country mm -hmm. because it's nice and hilly here, just rolling hills. Mm -hmm. I always thought the hill country was kind of Austin and West. Mm -hmm. This race, so Brenham is basically we take the highway that goes towards Houston it's closer to Houston than it is to us. Yeah, like, it's closer it was, to the coast. It right? was like two hours away, right? Like, yeah. Why, why is this hill country? Why is it still so hilly? Oh it was god. so Oh hilly. my god, some of those hills were like, are you kidding Holy me? Holy moly. Yeah, Seriously, it was real hilly. Um, so we set out oh, to just like, like our goal was to <laughs> run six the first six miles and then like do whatever we need to do after that point. Yeah. We ran the first four and a half miles. Yeah. We put on a really good show up to six. And yeah. then after that, we just 
we did what our bodies needed us to do, which yeah. was largely go walk up the hills and run down the hills. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it went okay. Yeah, though. It, it went okay. It it was so good. and and the other issue with the terrain is these old country roads. They're crowned, right? The, oh, they're, the the middle is is a crown, uh, and then they just so they like go out drainage, to the edge. Right? So there's no like real flat surface to run on, and and after miles, our I don't I don't know how I don't know how you are about it, but yeah, our joints are like my left hip started killing me. I'm mm -hmm. like yeah, because you know you're running. Yeah, my skew. knees are hurting. My knees never hurt. Yeah. When I run. So, um, but that's yeah. just all part of running, right? Yeah. You, you know, you particularly these like back roads type yeah. ones. Um, <clears throat> and um, it it. You know, I'm, I'm battling the, the knee stuff and, and, and Achilles tendon thing, whatever, and I've got some KT tape and all that. Uh, many thanks to uh, my PT, Aaron, uh, because uh, it bothered, but it didn't prevent me from uh, finishing. And so we. And in our normal time. Yeah. I mean. Ish. Normal ish time. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I, uh, we ran a half marathon last year. Uh, at this time in Fredericksburg, Texas, and our finish time then was two hours 255. and fifty-four, right? 50, yeah, yeah. Well, two fifty something. So yeah. very close to not that, bad. and and we have not been training mm -hmm. properly mm -hmm. for this half marathon no, because we of all we the setbacks really we had. Yeah. So that was great. Yeah. It was awesome, and yeah. and we did it. And here was one weird thing. So when we got there, um, you know, half marathon. Yeah, we were late. Whatever. Fine, we were late. <laughs> but as we were like running, there oh. weren't a tremendous amount of people oh, there, right? Yeah, it, so I think the, the half K was like clearly the, the shortest um, or the, the lowest um, enrollment or lowest sign up rate, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So we're, you know, tootle along, la la la, around like mile 11 and a half. Yeah. We see hordes of people yeah. pushing strollers. You know, dogs, dogs and, and, you know, and kids, kids and toddlers. And it's like, oh, that must be the, the, the like, 5K. Oh, the group. 5K is coming through. Yeah. It, because by that point, it was about a little before 10.30. Mm -hmm. So the the 5K started at 9.30. So the like slower movers on, oh, yeah, right. on the 5K, we kind of like met at the same time. And then we ran the last like mile and a half with so many people around us. It was so weird yeah. to spend all morning yeah. all by our lonesome. Yeah. And then like to just suddenly be like shoulder to shoulder yeah. with kids and yeah. like tons of people and like cars are trying to get through. Yeah, the weird crazy. and the weird part too is the roads are supposed to be closed off till noon. It's 1030 and for whatever reason that, that particular road wasn't closed off. There was a water stop there, like in the road, and cars were coming <laughs> by and and it was weird. And tons of people. It yeah. was really but it then we finally stressful. we finally got out. We got out to the bigger road that took us back to the high school yeah, and down the all... finisher shoot, and we got to run a little bit more yeah. towards the end. Yeah. And then we finally crossed the finish line. We're like, this is fantastic. So here's the deal with the ice cream. What I know everybody's been waiting to hear. That's about. right. It's the ice cream run. <laughs> so um, as I suspected, at <laughs> the run they only had ice cream bars, which is fine. Um, Blue Bell is delicious. No problem with it, uh, bars delicious. and sandwiches. So, um, what we had kind of talked about doing was apparently if you, you know, take your bib down to the Bluebell Country Store, which was like a mile and a half down the road, yeah. you can get a free scoop. Now, that's what we like really wanted yeah. heading into this day. We yeah. wanted to get the flavors of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Because they had However, a lot of awesome flavors. Yes. However, by the end of that, when it was like pretty warm by that point, yeah. it, my watch said it was still in the city. Oh, yours said 70, right? Yeah. It was about 70 degrees, yeah. and it was full sun, mm -hmm. and there wasn't a breeze, and mm -hmm. it was warm. Mm -hmm. so and when, we just ran 13.1 miles. <laughs> just run 13.1 mm -hmm. yeah. hilly miles. So we're like, well, we're like, no, there's a bunch of ice cream there. here, yeah. or we can, and there's no way we're going to get in the car and go, because there are thousands of cars There's there. no way we're turning left on this road. Yeah, as like, a matter of fact, they had it kind of blocked off. Yeah, so there's no way we were going to get there, easily. In a town that we don't know the so like, like, back ways to get. Let's places. go for the free uh, bars and we sandwiches. We got bars. So you got a um, sandwich. Oh my gosh! Talk about the sandwich. I got a cookies and cream ice cream sandwich, and it looked like an ice cream sandwich. You know the soggy oh, chocolate. Yeah. Uh, you know, and you eat it and it gets stuck in your teeth mm -hmm. and whatever, and you know vanilla ice cream. No, 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 no. The sandwich portion was chocolate, and it was crispy like a cracker. Crunchy cookie. And it stayed that way for the whole... So it wasn't frozen. It was this awesome. like graham cracker kind of consistency, but it was chocolate. It was 
amazing. And then it was cookies and cream ice cream. And because of the heat and because you're, you're holding it, and it's just like the perfect consistency. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. And it was free. Yeah. You know, with the... Oh, hey, oh you figured out how to open that door. You're so smart. It was amazing. We had the door shut. It was amazing. So I had that, so that, was that. to begin with. My first, first one, spoiler, we had more than one, was uh, <laughs> called a pink thing. And I haven't seen these since I was a child. Can you chill out? I'm telling a story. Hey, buddy, we're talking about our ice cream. Okay. So it's, as you can imagine, pink. Just a pill. Millie, you gotta chill out. Give us a second. Looks like Millie needs something else. <laughs> Cut. Action. Action. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a pink thing. And so it's this little, like, a, you know, just like a popsicle, like a uh, fudge bar, but it's pink. And it has this flavor that I can really only describe as pink. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I, they don't even claim that it's anything. And here's the deal. When my family used to go to Six Flags amusement parks, when I was a kid, we used to get these things called pink things. And they were just little like pink globs of ice cream. It tasted like a pink thing. So that's amazing. I don't know at what point they like gained the rights to pink thing. Cause I really didn't remember it being sure. Bluebell back then, but it was a flashback yeah. and it was delightful. The joy of nostalgia. I am like so happy that I had a pink <laughs> thing today. So we ate, we ate those. And we ate those like, and we were still debating, like, do we want to go get some ice cream? And we're like, nah. no, let's just get another bar and like call it a day. So I got another bar. I got a crunchy bar. It's a mm -hmm. chocolate coating over <clears throat> their homemade vanilla. And then the chocolate coating has some little crunchies. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, it was, oh man, it was perfect. It was, yeah. it was just perfect. Yeah, and then I got that without the crunchies, just like a normal, it's called a moo bar. Just moo a vanilla bar. with, it's kind of darkish chocolate. Yeah, it was, a it was really chocolate. good. Yeah, both very, very good. Oh my gosh. Their ice cream is really, really good. And so, you know, we did that and we're like, well, you know, here we are in the midst of a bunch of people just shoving ice cream in their faces. It was crazy. Uh, we, even met, <laughs> we even met somebody, you know, and if you, if you find this video, uh, and see us. It was great meeting you. Somebody who has Run done Run Disney. Disney. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're going to do the springtime surprise. Good luck. You can do it. Uh, it's going to be a blast. So it was really... It was an awesome It day. was awesome. Um, and then we, we yeah. hobbled. We literally hobbled. We got back, back in the, the car, car and we sat there for two hours. Two hours. We got home and... A little creaky. Yeah, man. A little creaky. Uh, my hips are like... Yeah, we're... Blood. we're we're not super comfortable, but that's okay. We're eating our pizza. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're drinking our beer. Yes, we are. We're going to take a nap. Yes. We've already taken ibuprofen. <laughs> we're going to get the ice packs out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, my um, gosh. So, oh. there you have it. You know, uh, the next two weeks is going to be all about answering your questions. Yeah. It's going to be telling you about what we're planning for. Uh, because I'm going to go through some uh, PT to get me uh, up and running and feeling mm -hmm. better so that we can continue to, to do the, the runs that we have planned. Uh, thank you all for watching. And, and if you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, it, 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 you know, it means a lot to us and it helps us understand, uh, you know, that uh, yeah, what we do uh, reaches you. And uh, thank you to our subscribers. Uh, the ice cream was awesome. We didn't get a scoop, but it was... The ice cream bars were really, really good. The bars were awesome. I mean, I, I'm not a, I'm not really a bar eater. And I realized I, I felt like a little kid. You know, I, I mean, we met, we, yeah, I was just kind of like, uh huh, uh huh, uh -huh and, and you know, I'm <laughs> sucking on the, on the stick and stuff. So it was wonderful. We did it. Yep. Um, I feel really good about it. And you know, it's, it was our usual slow time. So uh, you know, hey. And it was challenging. It was, did we mention it was hilly? Yeah. It was very hilly. Yeah, watch, I mean, it, if you watch Ooh. the footage before this, uh, it was, it was yeah. pretty rough. It That's was pretty right. rough. But we had a fantastic time. So thanks again for watching us. Stay tuned and keep sending us those questions because mm -hmm. we've got some answers. You know, even if we're not running, it's always an adventure with you. We will see you next week.